Hi guys, welcome to our channel. And today we will begin uh, phase number three of our kitchen renovation, which will include painting kitchen cabinets. But before that, we will remove all the hardware we have on the kitchen cabinets and then we will take all the doors off to prepare them for painting. So stay tuned, we'll show everything. All right, as you can see, we have removed all the hardware from our kitchen cabinets. It's all here, very heavy bag. The next step would be to remove um, all the doors. But before that, let me show you what, what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this screwdriver, electric one, and I will use this tape. So the reason I'm using this tape, um, because we need to mark all the doors, so we don't forget where each door's coming from. As you can see, our kitchen is naked now <laughs> and you can see everything inside in our kitchen cabinets. So I think we're done for today. Uh, it took us about uh, 1 hour 15 minutes approximately to remove all the hardware and uh, put it in the bag. So we have it here. So the next step, Marina will be cleaning doors and preparing them for uh, painting. Stay tuned. The first preparation step would be TSP cleaner. We bought this one at Lowe's for about $4. Guys, don't forget to use gloves because you're dealing with chemicals. All right, at this point, we just need to remove everything from the top shelves cabinets and uh, we're gonna put it somewhere somewhere else. We need to clean uh, the cabinets with uh, TSP cleaner and then we will be sanding them and preparing for the paint.
All right, guys, uh, we're filling the, um, the holes we're not gonna use with the wood filler and it's ready to be sent. So after that, we will be sanding the whole surface of the doors in front and the back. Next step is to clean all surfaces with the vacuum and tack cloth. Okay, let me show you guys what do we need for um, painting. We have a brush, we bought it in Amazon, so uh, a lot of uh, good recommendations for this brush. So we'll leave the link for this brush below. And we have a roller and two foam brushes. We also have a tray for the paint, we have a primer itself, so we pick uh, this color. Basically we ask in lowest to color it a little bit. Um, and we have two plastic drop cloths, so we'll be using to protect our counters. So let's start it. Okay guys, we did the priming and see how it looks now. Our kitchen is different, no more brown kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we also noticed that uh, even the primer brighten up the space and it makes the space even bigger. So we, we were shocked a little bit because of that and yeah. it was actually a great result. So, And let me show you the result of the primer. This is how it looks with the one coat of priming and uh, we're not going to do the second coat of priming um, because it, you don't have to, you don't need to. We also will be using the sanding uh, sponge and it's uh, 220 to 320 grit. This is designed for sanding uh, between coats. In our case we will be sanding between primer and paint. And if we will decide to do the second coat of painting we will need to repeat this step. So we would need to send between first coat of the paint and the second coat of the paint. And here's the paint we will be using for our kitchen cabinets. Benjamin Moore Advance special for kitchen cabinets and furniture. So let's open it and you guys will see which color we picked. Satin finish 
and it's the peel green color but uh, there was a problem with the color uh, with the cold color actually for the Benjamin Moore which uh, Marina reported to them there was a formula color problem sp uh, specifically for the um, peel green color this is very rare problem but this is occurred with us and specifically for this uh, peel green color which we select and the um, at the paint store um, they did a custom color for us so they adjusted a little bit to have the uh, actual peel green color and let me show you the first try this is the first try one coat here and it looks like uh, this is exactly the color we we wanted it's a smooth surface and I really liked it and now we're starting to paint um, everything so we've got our color let's do it As you can see the first coat is done so it looks already great but um, now we need to send between coats and we will be using this uh, sending sponges 220 um, and 320 grit yes so that's required step uh, between the coats and let's do it And now it's time for a second coat. Let's do it.
since I want my um, outlet to be flash with the uh, new tile, I'll be using this uh, flash fit device leveling plate. Uh, very easy to install, very easy to use. Basically, you're screwing in uh, the outlet and then you're attaching the, the plate. So this way the outlet will be leveled and you can install your outlet cover without any problem. Alright, the kitchen project is done. We're so happy with the result. We're glad that we went with this color. We really liked it. We really liked the hardware we installed. And let's summarize what we did for this project. As all of you have seen already, we painted the cabinets and then we installed the uh, kitchen hardware. We also installed the soft closing hinges. So now you can see that it's uh, closing really soft. Also, we did install the new backsplash. Here we have installed the new outlets and we cover it with the new plates and actually the color of the plates matching the, um, the shape and the color of the hardware. Here's another improvement for our kitchen and this is the pull-out drawers. I really like these drawers because now everything is organized and functional so very proud about this. And now we're in the very back of our kitchen. So before here, it was total mess here. We had a um, router, we had some Huey lights, hub. Basically it was a lot of cables here. But what I did, I did the cable management. So I did move everything, including router, to this cabinet. So now we have everything organized and hidden inside this cabinet. We're moving to our kitchen island and this is another project we did. So we completely remodeled this space. Basically we changed the kitchen sink, we changed the uh, faucet before it was a double sink. Now we have a single one and I think it's more functional, it's more beautiful. Um, and I really liked it. So we have uh, Kraus uh, sink and we have the Delta uh, faucet. We have done a lot here, but this is not the end of our project. So we will be doing more projects in the future. Um, we will be remodeling the um, kitchen island. We will be doing some work at the uh, guest area. So basically we'll have more content for you created in, for this channel. We'll be very curious to know what you guys think about this project, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what would you do different or uh, if you will use different technique, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, this will help our channel to grow. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and also hit the bell notification so you won't miss the next video. And see you guys in the next one. Bye!